The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Hello YouTube. Well, I made this video a little while ago. Um, and I, I'm not going to be able to leave it up. So I'm making it again. This time I'm making it uh, without a couple of clips in it. But uh, on the blog, again, on my blog, you can go there and it'll be linked in the bottom. And go there and you can watch the videos that I wanted to put in the video, but uh, I'm not allowed to on YouTube. So, anyway, with that, y'all read the stuff and. Uh, there was a couple of, there was one comment on there first the guesses I do know that the they're not going to allow Ron Paul to win yes I do know this but we can't people we cannot listen to me closely if he can't win get this in your damn pipe and smoke it if he can't win and y'all keep saying he can't win. And he can. But if you say he can. And you fight hard enough for it. And you work hard enough for it to happen. He can win. But we have to prove that they're cheating. And the only way to do that. Is for y'all to get the message out there. Make sure that everybody knows what's going on. So when they do cheat. We know what's going on. And if we take the dollar bill, like I said earlier, and write Ron Paul on it and put it in a box out front, and then somebody count all those, he's getting a dollar donation. Plus, we're getting a double count. Now, ain't that cool? So what's wrong with that? If we're getting a double count to see how bad they're cheating, that we can prove and count the dollar bills that he's got in the box to win, then what's wrong with that, folks? What's wrong with that? I think it's a great idea. And I think y'all ought to think it's a good idea, too. I want, I want to get our freedoms back for us people. I'm trying my hardest. But it's real discouraging when I get people come in here and say can't. Didn't your mama and your daddy tell you that there ain't no such word as can't? I mean, I mean, it's it's in front of you. It's in your face. There's no such word as can't. You can do anything you put your mind to. So put your damn minds to it. Quit worrying about playing tiddlywinks. When this is over, you can play all the damn tiddlywinks you want to. But right now, tiddlywinks ain't for time. It is ain't time for tiddlywinks. No way, shape, nor form. Get the message out, people. Let's show that they're trying to cheat. Let's make them know that they, we know that they're cheating. Let's make it harder and harder for them to cheat. By doing something like the dollar bill and putting it in a box and counting it for a donation. or Anybody got a better idea? I don't care. But count the damn votes twice. That way they can't cheat us. If our vote's wrong, I mean if our vote's different than their vote, then they friggin' cheated. Don't you understand that? They cheated. I mean it's the proof in the pudding. If you go to my link meaning my blog, and read all the information, and you look at the videos on there, and you go to Starscream and listen to what he said, he says about the, in the video, about the people, where they're at, and who they are, and what they're doing, you'll understand. Listen to this. Up with some stuff that I think uh, looks a little bit corrupt, and because I did a little bit of digging myself. So listen to what she has to say first. Oh, may happen with an open system that we can see, but then we can see it, or it may happen with a concealed system we can't see that's controlled by a corporation. But what we have to have is a structure so that we can see what's going on, because if we can see 
see it, that will ultimately help prevent boat fraud or catch it or expose it. So what's going on now, it, it's unbelievably dangerous uh, to the whole democratic structure. In fact, it removes the democratic structure. What we have is uh, already we have one company which is in charge of results reporting. Or it, I wrote in my article over 525 United States jurisdictions this fall. It's actually going to be over 900 jurisdictions in 26 states. Instead of, and you'll go to your county website and you'll look at that and it'll say, oh, here's the results. Well, not really. A lot, in over 900 counties, when you go to your county website, you're actually looking at a redirected site out of Tampa, Florida. And so all the results for 26 states and 900 locations are actually going to Tampa, Florida before they're reported. And then we add to that. That firm that reports the results is then purchased by another firm out of Spain. And that firm out of Spain also produces the voting system. Now there you get, and by the way, the type of voting that that firm is, uh, which is called Cytl, S-C-Y-T-L, the type And I decided to follow the money a little bit here and see what's exactly going on. So, the reason she says all these, um, all your votes in all these different places will consolidate into Florida is because this company right here, SOE Software, which also does, um, election management or vote at Balderton Capital okay um, so I went through each one of these guys profiles and uh, so check this out Tim joined Balderton as general partner in 2007 he was previously previously a partner of Goldman Sachs where he spent 18 years at Goldman Tim held various roles, including Global Head Equity uh, Capital Markets and Vice Chairman of Goldman Sachs International from 2005 to 2006. Is this starting to get a little bit corrupt sounding to you yet? This is the part right here where they uh, uh, wouldn't let me use, so I covered it up with, guess what? The people in the video were talking bad about Ron Paul to start with. You can see that on my blog, so please go to the blog uh, and look and watch the video. Uh, you've seen a clip of it back there at the other end of the clip that this is about. But you can watch it and listen to the radio host trying to uh, make it look like Ron Paul couldn't win anyway. That's the problem with all of this, people. That's the problem. People don't have enough confidence in nothing. The only confidence they have is a well-spoken, uh, what's the right word I want to use here? A well-spoken con artist. They can con you out of everything you got because you can't see the nose in front of your face. But you know what's the worst thing about it all? Is a con man is the easiest person to con. Do you understand that? Remember that. A con man is the easiest to con. And we got a con artist in president. And a bunch of other con artists up there. So why don't we con him? With their same tactics and their same games. Smell the roses and wake up, people. If we want a president that's going to fight for our freedoms and get our troops home and protect our borders instead of somebody else's, then we got a problem, people. We got a big problem. We don't care. If that's the way it is, then nobody out there cares about nothing. They don't care about nothing, nobody, nobody else, not even themselves. If you don't care about yourself, then what's wrong with you? You can't lay down. You can't lay down because religion tells you to. Religion doesn't tell you that to start with. It tells you to fight for your honor and fight for your freedoms. 
I mean, it doesn't actually say them in their words. And I'm not going to preach to you like that. Everybody has their own beliefs. We're not. We're supposed to all treat men equal. Period. No matter. That's just life. That's the way to get along. We're not made to fight one another. We're supposed to be human beings. We're not supposed to fight other people. No way, shape, or form. I mean, it's just not supposed to be that way. It's been that way for the beginning of time. But it ain't supposed to be that way. You're supposed to treat people equal. Just like you want to be treated. Don't y'all know that? I mean, I know you know it. But you don't you don't act it you you want to be yourself it's all about you all about what i can get what dollar i can take from somebody else quit worrying about the damn dollars cuz they really ain't worth the shit to start with because we got a con artist in office and y'all all know that we got a con man up there Stealing our rights away and giving all our money to other countries because he's the king. He's the almighty. He thinks. Flat. We got to get rid of that, that kind of thought, that kind of... Got to get rid of all of that stuff. We got to get rid of people that think that everybody in this world is trying to destroy the United States. All that people want is to be left alone. They want to sell their oil the way they want to sell it. That's just like if you got a business, don't you want to sell your stuff the way you want to sell it? All this is is about oil, and that's all it's always been about, is oil. That's why we're over there. It's all about oil. But we got other kinds of energy. We don't need oil like that. There's plenty of different types of energy out there to get away from oil. And on top of that, the United States has got plenty of oil. Plenty of it. You're not going to tell me that all them oil fields, when I was 12, year, <coughs> 12 years old, uh, all them oil fields, like uh, corn fields, are all dry. You're not going to tell me that because I don't believe you. There's no way I can believe you. They just are paid to cap off because my uncle had one in, in Claxton, Georgia, and they made him cap it. So, I don't know people. Y'all think about it. Much love. Much love to y'all. Y'all have a good night. Good afternoon. Um, and uh, remember, all we can do is work harder at it. Much love to y'all. Heads up. And uh, have a great day.